Welcome everybody to today's show. It has been a busy week. Been to a Bitcoin conference and to a trip to Berlin. So busy week, but we're back and we're back for sure. And we are back. Bitcoin is breaking out. Maybe new all-time highs are uh, on the horizon in uh, in October. Or is this a fake out? Today we saw a massive three thousand dollar pump towards uh, above sixty seven thousand. Bitcoin pulled back into the sixty six thousand dollar region, but still higher than before. Looking good. Bitcoin is moving in a downwards channel for a long period of time, but today we actually broke out of this channel. Um, which is very promising. So Bitcoin at the moment is retesting um, the upper boundary of the channel at 65,300. So as long as we stay above this level, things are looking good. So is this the start of October? It started horribly, but it, um, it looks better and better. And don't forget, we have elections um, coming up in 21 days, where Trump, not my personal favorite, is leading by over 16%, um, according to Poly Markets, um, over Kamala Harris, which uh, is considered to be very bullish for crypto. Bitcoin ETFs are also doing very well with yesterday a positive inflow of $555 million in comparison to the last trading day before, which was Friday, 11th of October, of $253 million of positive inflow. So um, also the Bitcoin ETFs are signaling uh, a bullish market. So all signals are pointing to a, well, a bullish market. Um, well, most people don't make money in crypto, even if there is a bull market, because they don't know when to exit. They don't know how to sell at the right time, and they don't uh, uh, take profit at the right time, and in the end make uh, make loss. This is like uh, true for 80, 90% of all investors. So you are not the only one uh, losing money where it looks like everybody else is winning. I actually made a small ebook about it. It's about how to make money in a bull market, how to uh, avoid the biggest mistakes that all retail investors make. I made this mistake in the last bull run of uh, October, November 2021. So learn from my mistakes. Um, I will not make them again in the coming bull run. And if you're interested to know what these mistakes are and how you can prevent them, uh, look in the description below this video and uh, check out this ebook. It's only like, what is it, four or five dollars. So it's definitely worth it to buy it, read it, and don't make the mistakes that I did earlier. Another positive indicator is the money supply, the M2. The M2 has been um, in positive correlation with Bitcoin from uh, 2018 on, which is also logical. The more money there is in an economy, well, the more money... Um, can go to investments and a risky investment as um, as Bitcoin is. In the last period of time, um, Bitcoin has been lagging, uh, M2 has been growing, uh, Bitcoin is lagging. So hopefully Bitcoin uh, has uh, uh, can catch up with uh, this correlation and also rise even further. Stop, start, and maybe Bitcoin can get a nice little bump from M2. 
And Bitcoin has also been lagging very badly if you look at uh, the enormous increase in the S&P 500. Bitcoin is um, uh, up for a huge rally uh, to even catch up to uh, the rise that uh, the S&P 500 has um, has made uh, from the beginning of this year only. Also in 23 days, there will be the next Federal Reserve rate cut. More than 85% um, of the people expect a 25 basis points rate cut. Um, well, less than 20% um, expect a 50 basis point rate cut. So a combination of um, elections uh, with a, well, at least 25 basis point rate cut looks very bullish for, um, for Bitcoin and the rest of the crypto markets. Let's hope that this will finally be the push that brings us back to like 2021 levels. We deserved it. We have waited long enough for it. So let's take all this positive energy and let's go all together. That's it for today. Uh, no negative news, only positive news, which is also very nice, of course, for a change. Um, I wish you all a very good night. Um, enjoy this nice uh, rally in the crypto markets. And uh, I'll uh, speak to you soon. All right. Bye-bye.